What is the difference between gabapentin and pregabalin? When it comes to managing neuropathic pain and certain types of seizures, gabapentin and pregabalin often come up in conversation. Both belong to a class of medications known as gabapentinoids, but they have important differences that can affect treatment choices. Let's explore these differences in a clear and straightforward way. First, both gabapentin and pregabalin work by modulating voltage-gated calcium channels in the central nervous system. This action helps reduce the releases of excitatory neurotransmitters, like glutamate, which is key to their pain-relieving effects. They are both effective in treating neuropathic pain, such as postherpetic neuralgia, and they help manage partial-onset seizures. However, pregabalin has additional approvals for conditions like fibromyalgia and diabetic neuropathy, making it a bit more versatile in certain cases. Now, let's talk about how they differ. One major difference is how quickly they are absorbed in the body. Pregabalin reaches its peak concentration within about one hour, while gabapentin takes three to four hours to do the same. This quicker absorption can make pregabalin a better option for those needing faster relief. Another key difference is their potency. Pregabalin is generally considered more potent than gabapentin because it has a higher affinity for calcium channels. Studies show that pregabalin often provides faster and more significant pain relief compared to gabapentin, which can be crucial for patients in need of immediate help. Side effects are also an important consideration. Both medications can cause adverse effects, but they differ in what is commonly experienced. Pregabalin is more frequently associated with dizziness and sleepiness, while gabapentin may lead to nausea and vomiting more often. When it comes to dosing, pregabalin typically ranges from 25 mg to 300 mg, while gabapentin can be prescribed in doses from 100 mg to 800 mg. The choice between these medications often depends on individual patient factors, including the type of pain being treated and how well the patient tolerates the medication. In the context of pain management, healthcare providers must carefully weigh the benefits and risks of each option. For example, Pregabalin might be preferred for its rapid onset and higher efficacy in specific neuropathic pain types. On the other hand, gabapentin could be chosen for its lower cost or if a patient experiences fewer side effects at their required dose. Ultimately, both gabapentin and pregabalin are effective tools in managing neuropathic pain, but their use should be tailored to meet individual patient needs. It is essential for patients to consult with their healthcare providers to determine the best option for their specific situation.